Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Chess. This is Chessopolis where I renovate every neighborhood in The Sims. Um, starting with Willow Creek, we're going to do the goth house. And that house right there on the side is the Morris Israel home, which is my inspiration for this particular home. Uh, it's a home in the Garden District in New Orleans, which Willow Creek is heavily inspired by. So all of New Orleans, all of Willow Creek will end up looking like New Orleans as best I can muster with all the districts and everything, the French Quarter, the whole situation. Um, so yeah, we're starting with the goth house. I decided on this house because I loved the way it looked. Um, I also decided to go very stereotypical New Orleans in that in that regard because I love the architecture. I don't typically build really ornate homes, um, but I but uh, but I do love the challenge. And so here we are. Um, this particular home is really interesting to me. Um, it has a kind of crazy history. It was originally built in 1870. And uh, in the 1960s, like 1967 or something like that, they went under renovations with the home, but they had to stop the renovations because weird things started happening. Now, if you know anything about New Orleans, there's a whole voodoo culture and hoodoo and, you know, all the woo-woo things <laughs> um and so in this home they actually found a small ceremonial space which i did not include in this build i actually don't even know what the inside of the home looks like but having been in my fair share of historical homes and being from back east um i kind of went with my gut on where walls would be and what would be closed off and what the goth family would actually do in terms of their own personal renovation. Um, I decided to go with this home, uh, not just because of the historical aspect, but because it was much smaller than the original goth house, which is ridiculously huge and crazy for gameplay. Um, it's something that really bothers me about a lot of the homes in The Sims um, as to why I honestly am always constantly building. I'm a huge builder. Um, I do play, but I love, love, love to build. Um, and the Sims team makes it kind of easy, no offense, because I mean, some of the things that they've left us with, um, could be different. I just feel like gameplay wise, having this palatial home with the boys room all the way on the top in this tower. And then these, I mean, it takes you 30 minutes to, in Sim time to walk around the house. And I just feel like for gameplay, that's a lot. If you want to just have your Sim go to the bathroom <laughs> or, or cook dinner or something like that. And so I thought that the size of the home was perfect. Um, I also thought that because, you know, they have their children, um, it should be more of a family home. And the focus should be more on the children because in the descriptions, it, you know, it says, will the kids be gloomy like the parents or something like that. And so I wanted them to be able to focus on that. Um, I also typically do like decks and things didn't do that just kind of did a stairs off of the kitchen there so you can still go to the backyard um, so I kept everything pretty on the on the first floor pretty uh, pretty old school you know like my idea is that they got they inherited this house they kept the original floors and a lot of the bones and the windows and doors because they loved the home so much and they wanted to pay homage to the lineage of family that's lived here so they did update the kitchen as you can see you know a nice sizable island exposed storage on the island uh two huge huge ridiculous stoves here i tried to do a really modern pantry but i didn't like how it was going it was so scrapped that idea i decided to do a nook under here but then i was like mm, maybe this can be a desk office area situation so in a second i'll be removing all of this and it'll be blank but by the time i finish i do update it and it becomes a reading nook um in the original home they have a very entertainer friendly home but because i'm focusing on the family i just kind of kept it really simple having the dining area in the bay window everything's been player tested so um play play tested so that this all works and they can get around to everything just fine um, but yeah, so 
I just wanted to really focus on it being kind of a family home. Um, so yeah, you'll see, you'll see these ridiculously tall upper cabinets I do. Who would, how, how are you getting to that? A ladder, but it's a Sims. So who cares? <laughs> It's also why I don't typically do like curtains and things like that in The Sims because they have no need for privacy. Um, so here I am doing the nook. I uh, Right off the kitchen is the half bathroom, which I put in just about every build I do. I try to do a half bathroom because I cannot stand when you're playing and your neighbors or friends just go upstairs and make themselves at home. <laughs> I feel like use the half bathroom. You know, just... This is yours. This is for guests. <laughs> but there are two bathrooms upstairs. Uh, the kids share a bathroom. And then, of course, the parents have their own in their uh, master suite. And so, yeah, I'm just kind of picking the paint now. I really wanted something a lot more modern. But I figured I would go with a modern color with the beadboard to kind of brighten it up a bit. Um, and also in keeping with, an, with, the, uh, with the historical home. Also, they have a lot of antique furniture um, in lighter tones I used because I just wanted to brighten everything up. Their other house just kind of seemed like uh, like Vlad's house, low key, um, <laughs> in in, uh, in Forgotten Hollow. So I just wanted it to feel lighter, brighter, but more f familial. So this is their formal living room. They do have an organ. Um, I'm about to put a bookcase and things like that here. So they have things to do. Um, cause I know Cassandra is creative so she can learn the organ. She also has a desk in her room when we get there, but I just wanted it to be really low key. They can host people, but, um, all their family time in terms of TV time or video games or what have you is all going to happen upstairs, which you'll see in a second. Um, so here I am just trying to figure out the bookcase of it all. This was just really fun house to build. It took me a few hours though, especially because of the the outside, the, the what are they called? Spin, spindles and I don't know, all the, <laughs> all the wrought iron borders and getting those uh, columns just right. So here we're upstairs now, starting with the master suite. I don't typically do the bathroom and bedroom like this, but I really needed to measure it out because I wanted to use the hallway very specifically. I didn't want it to just be a place they pass through. Um, so yeah, so here's the bathroom. I did the bathtub because for gameplay, I prefer a bathtub, but I also liked it because I I imagine that they kept this cloth tub, they restored it. Um, the parents' room is a lot of restoration situations. They've kept a lot of antique furniture, but of course they have like the most expensive bed, but you know, sleep is important comfort is important especially for our sims because then you have an angry cranky sim on your hand and who really wants that unless that's your gameplay style you know do you boo so here i am just decorating the top of it i do like clutter um but i just want it to be super clean because i feel like they're a modern family they've got things going on they don't got time to do everything they probably will get a maid um <laughs> so i just wanted to keep it real simple so here's like their family upstairs den area uh the couch is a little more modern but it still has that antique feel because it's tufted kind of like a chesterfield which i'll probably make mention of that sofa a few times whenever i use that sofa because that leather tufted sofa is my favorite and chesterfields are my favorite um <laughs> uh so yeah so here i am doing cassandra's room and i still wanted it to be purple because i love purple it's my favorite color uh, but I wanted it to be brighter, a little bit more teenage friendly. So she, uh, she, she put up some curtain rods and put these really cool Ikea purple curtains that she found, um, up to kind of give her room drama. And then, you know, she's got her books and some knickknacks on these shelves that is just at the end of her bed that she can just easily get to, um, some camera equipment, you know, cause she's creative. Uh, but then her mom made her keep this hideous desk and she was like, fine. And so, you know, she puts her tablet and things like that on it. But, you know, it, it does the job. It's not the faves. And uh, that's basically her room. Um, some artwork from the tiny stuff pack, uh, the tiny living. I love the cute little pictures that came with that. 
Um, and then, because her brother isn't up in the tower, and he's supposed to be somewhat cheerful, I gave him a very bright room. He likes to read, so I gave him a bookcase, kept it really simple. Um, yeah, and then from here, I do believe I get into their bathroom, kept that real simple. I love a Jack and Jill bathroom. That's where the more modern aspect comes in, because they did keep the bones, but they needed to make it work for their family as anyone will do when they renovate a home. So yeah, from here I just do all the lighting because um, I'm really good at forgetting lights in a house. Um, some people forget trash cans, I forget lights, which is not really good. <laughs> so I went around and made sure I put all the lights. Um, and then from some little extra decor pieces. So you'll just see me finish up and kind of change around some colors here and there in, in this last bit of the video. From here, I'll be doing the backyard, which is very simple, just kind of table, chairs, and a grill, uh, making a little entryway, which I also love to do. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna let you go here. Um, there will be um, some screenshots at the end of the video so enjoy those and come back for more rebuilding of the sims thanks bye